I'm getting ready to take off some Honda rotor screws. If you didn't know, Honda rotor screws, that's what they look like, and they're a lot of fun taking off. Um, but they're made to what's called the Japanese Industrial Standard, which means there's a dot right there. If you can see it, I'm not sure if that's focusing or not, but there's a dot right there, and that means that they're made to the Japanese Industrial Standard. Um, I got some Vessel screwdrivers here that are from Japan, and these are made to the Japanese Standard. Um, snap-on, I got a snap-on right here. If you look at the tips, they're very, very close. So a lot of times you can get away with using a snap-on screwdriver on Japanese screws. Um, but the reason I'm making the video today is they have this impacting screwdriver and I thought it was a neat design and uh, I figured I gotta take some Honda rotor screws out so let's let's see if this thing works alright I got the old Lyle 3 8 inch uh, impacting screwdriver and I got the Vessel we'll try them both in these Honda rotor screws we'll see how they both handle them hey, if you look right there you can see the dot you can see the dot on that screw. All right, let's go ahead and see how well this takes this rotor screw out. No damage. See how it compares to the Lyle. Lyle got it out too. Check out the damage. Can you see that? Dinged it up pretty darn good. Well there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration of the Vessel Impact Screwdriver compared to the standard Lyle one. As you saw, the Vessel worked a lot better. You can see, if you can see the difference in the screws, one's damaged and then it can't be reused and the other one can be reused um, that's why I have to keep these packs of uh, rotor screws around because I'm normally dam damaging them but I'll tell you what this thing does a lot better job getting them out um, very neat design so in any event hey if you like the video as always make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and for those of you staying till the end I was wearing my safety glasses looking better For those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, a little bonus material. Let's see what I got this week, tool-wise. Uh, I got this Forma Funnel. Pretty nice. You can bend it however you want. Make your own little funnel. It's nice for different tool or different uh, vehicles, so you don't you're not making a mess in there. Uh, this thing's made in the USA. These things are pretty cool. Come in different sizes. Let's see what else I got. I bought, I, you guys are always um, probably wishing I used a smaller scan tool because I'm always using my big expensive one. So I got this uh, cheap little Autel AL319. Um, it seems pretty cool so far. Uh, I've used it, already programmed it, um, but uh, I like it so far. So I'll, I'll try to feature it in some videos. So cheaper option for those of you who don't want to buy a full-fledged scan tool and let's see oh this uh, from solar this is a uh, plugs into your uh, 
power power pack and it uh, saves your battery so you can plug it in the OBD port and just plug it into your power source in this case I have I have this one here so you just plug it in and then plug it into your OBD port and then you can change the batteries without losing all your settings So that's nice to have and this is an extension for the uh, for a scan tool it'll work with this or any scan tool it's nice to be able to stretch it out go underneath the car or under the hood let's see from gear wrench I got this uh, ball joint separator uh, part number three one three nine one sixty three nine one sixty where's this one made probably in China Oh, Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. Right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, tire tread depth thing. Measure your uh, the depth on people's tires. Oh, it's nice to have extra of those. Uh, and I got a couple of Lyle um, filter wrenches. They go on the end of the filters, uh, oil filters. I got a smaller one and a larger one. Um, 63600 is a smaller one. 63250 is the larger one. Between the two of them, they fit just about anything. You just put your uh, socket or uh, ratchet on the back of that and it clamps onto the end of that filter and it won't let go. They're only for taking them off, but they're great for getting stubborn ones off. And last but not least, I got a couple of channel lock pliers. I got some uh, side cutters or diagonal cutters. This one is the 449 model. And then I got some big cutters for uh, large wire cable cutters. This is a uh, model 911, both made in the US. Anyway, just, uh, just a little bit of a mini two haul there for those of you that stuck around for the end of the video. In any event, have a good one. We'll see you later.